Now that the vehicle is loaded and strapped down to our dynamometer, we need to hook up RPM from the vehicle to the DynaRT main box. RPM is one of the most valuable inputs on your dynamometer. Getting a clean and accurate signal allows you to review your runs over engine RPM as well as getting a good engine torque reading. There are several ways of gathering RPM data from your vehicle. One of the most common ways is using an inductive RPM pickup. We include four inductives with the dynamometer, two primaries and two secondaries. The primary pickup can be used on most any low voltage wire that pulses relative to crankshaft rotation most commonly used on the negative side of a coil or coil on plug. It can also be used on tack output wires, a fuel injector ground signal wires, or any RPM dependent triggered output. For diesel applications or vehicles that you cannot get an RPM signal using the standard inductive RPM pickups, Dynojet also offers an optical RPM pickup. Clean and accessible visible portion of the harmonic dampener and attach a one inch piece of the provided reflective tape. Attach the optical RPM sensor cable to the DynaWire RT digital input. Mount the optical sensor to the adjustable magnetic base and position it so the red lens of the sensor points towards the reflective tape. The optimal distance is eight to 24 inches. Choose digital RPM input and set the degrees of plug fire to 360 in the RPM configuration menu. The green LED on the sensor shows that it's receiving power, and when the sensor is properly positioned and sees the reflection from the tape, the red LED will illuminate as well. If the red LED isn't lit, adjust the sensitivity of the sensor until both LEDs are lit. If the red LED still isn't on, try repositioning the sensor closer to the tape. Another optional accessory for picking up RPM is the Easy RPM module. Select the number of cylinders your vehicle has and connect the source cable to either your battery or to your cigarette lighter. Attach your Dynajet secondary inductive pickup to the bar on the outside of the Easy RPM module. Then connect it to your DynaWire T main box. Go into your RPM configuration and set your degree as a plug fire. For vehicles 2008 and up, Dynajet also offers the OBD2 module. You can plug the OBD2 module into the OBD2 port of your vehicle and stream RPM directly to the DynaWRT main box. Finally, should you need to dyno a vehicle where no other RPM inputs are available, the gear ratio RPM feature built into your WIMPEP-8 software can supply RPM data based on your DynaJet's drum speed. Whichever method you use, remember these important tips for safety and to get the best signal possible. Make sure that your inductive pickup and any additional wires are well clear of all moving parts and secured. To avoid the possibility of interference, route your pickup cables away from any other electrical components and always make sure to ground your vehicle. Lastly, always treat your inductive RPM pickups with care. They are fragile and can be damaged very easily. For questions or technical support, you can reach us at dynojet.com or 1-800-992-3525.